Well, some state lawmakers are collecting private money to send a homeless man back to the mainland. And they're using his case as an example of why the state should pay to ship out homeless people who came to Hawaii for a free ride. KITV4's Dick Allgaier joining us from the newsroom with the details. Dick. Well, a bill to fund one-way tickets home for mainland homeless people living off the system in Hawaii died at the legislature this year. But this case is a call to revive that idea. 39-year-old Gregory Reese says he came to Hawaii from Seattle in May because he was promised a job that didn't work out. Now he's one of the growing number of single homeless men from the mainland. I've been living around the airport um, right, on, right near Nimitz and I've been going to local churches and getting meals over there. Several state lawmakers are trying to raise money to help send Reese home. He says he has no money and his father in Seattle has lung cancer. Representative Rita Cabanilla says homeless men on the mainland often come to take advantage of our generous welfare programs. With our current climate and the aloha spirit that we have in our islands, I mean, we're going to be a receptacle of a lot of homeless people from everywhere else in the mainland. She says it would cost the state less to buy many of the homeless a one-way ticket back to the mainland. I think that's a drop in the bucket to send them back home and have their family and themselves happier. Representative John Mizuno says he's chipping in $100 of his own money to buy Gregory a ticket, but says it would make sense to use state funds to send others home. So this would do two things, family reunification for him and save the state's finite resources for our local homeless residents. Reese says he's ready to leave. I want to go back to my dad because he's got cancer and um, yeah, I just, I just miss home. Is it cost effective? Well, a one-way ticket to the mainland right now costs from 245 to about $350. But if a homeless person gets food stamps, that costs the state $314 a month. General assistance gives them about $350 a month on top of that, and medical expenses can run into the thousands. Reporting live, Dick Allgaier, KITV 4 News.